So this is your bacon broil circuit right here. The circuit is from L2. It goes through this DLB relay, which during any cycle this relay closes and stays closed unless there's a problem. This is your high limit right here, your high limit thermostat. Okay, so voltage will appear here during any cycle. So your L2 will appear here during any cycle. And it's going to come up against a broiled bacon convection bake. And so what happens is, this voltage is always right there. So what happens is, during bake, this uh, relay here, normally close of the broil relay, is to energize the bake relay. This is your bake relay. Hey, I'm going to go ahead and label these. This is bake here. This is broil here. So what happens is this relay, when it's normally closed, this relay is not activated. Voltage appears at the common of the bake relay. And when the bake relay is energized, then this voltage will come over to here, this side of the bake element. And this will shut off. This cycles back and forth. This will shut off. And then this will close. And the broil element will be on. And then it's going to go back and forth. And it uses the heat. This comes back on. So the bake, relay, the bake element will get hot. And, and it stays hot because it stores heat. So it uses that stored heat in conjunction with this broil element to more quickly heat up the oven. So this broil element augments the preheating process. What happens though is that this relay right here gets stuck. Stuck right there. And the reason it gets stuck is because broil uses a lot more current than the other elements do. This is your wattage table right here. And the broil element is only 14.4 ohms, which comes out to uh, the, the current that the broil element uses using power divided by voltage. Comes out to 16.6 .6 amps, which is that is very much short of the relay's 30 amp capacity, but what happens is it cycles so often and it uses more current than the other elements that over time the relay contacts just wear out and they start welding together. When they weld together, this gets stuck right here and this broil element just stays on. The broil element stays on, it heats up very, very quickly because the top of the, uh, the, top of the oven is, uh, the sensor is near the top of the oven and that so is that broil element. Uh, here's a picture of the cookie sheet that the customer was using. Now she said it was this occurred during bake. Now convection bake, well she doesn't have convection bake, but this occurred during bake. And um, this is a picture of the cookie sheet that she was using. And this occurred after five minutes of her starting the cycle. So very obviously to me, this broil relay is bad. The DLB is just a safety relay. And what happens is when you get an F20 air, this safety relay will open up and break this circuit so that you have no more voltage over here, even though this is stuck. So that's a safety relay. So that was a schematic walkthrough of how an oven bake circuit typically works and one of the ways in which they commonly fail. I hope you found this video interesting and informative. If so, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel.